Welcome to JCCR Adventures. Tonight our adventure is movie night. So we're swapping out the Polk audio system. We're going to show you, do an unboxing of our new Sony system and how to install it. And this was our Polk system. Just to give you a heads up, really easy install. You're going to find this easy. You're going to enjoy this. You either plug in HDMI or we actually prefer optic. So it's just plugging in the shapes that fit together. So simple child's play. So we've got the Sony system here. It's 400 watts. Uh, we got it at Costco. Uh, we like, I think we're going to like the Sony sound system. We played around with it in the store, which is nice. I think any store that's sounding, selling sound systems, you should be able to actually, you know, listen to it before you take it home. So we listened to it. It was our favorite beyond the Klipsch system. The Klipsch was, well, $1,900. So a little bit more than what we want to spend. This was $160 off, so we got it for $450. It's a 3.1 Sony system. So 3.1 is referring to the fact that it comes with a subwoofer and then multiple speakers. So you've got three sources of sound. It's not surround sound. Surround sound would be a 5.1 system or more. So 5.1 refers to two speakers in the back three speakers up front, while this being a 3.1, you've got three speakers plus the subwoofer. You definitely want to get one with the subwoofer and you'll want to get one with the subwoofer. You like watching movies where you get a little bit of that thump. Well, that's from the bass, that pounding. So when a jet takes off, you want to feel the room vibrate a little, you'll want to get a good subwoofer. Now, of course, we've gotten the clip system at $1,900 while this whole room would really shake. But we already have a loud sound system for the other room for listening to music from the house out into our pool area. So let's unbox this. So of course, took the tape open, cut open the tapes prior so this would go a little bit faster. But make sure when you open it, nothing falls out. Pretty obvious stuff, but you know, accidents happen when people aren't thinking. So your subwoofer is gonna have its own power source. So you're gonna need two available plugs. Of course, always get a power bar. You don't wanna plug these directly into the wall unit in case there's a power outage. You don't wanna fry your expensive electronic equipment. So we're gonna have two power plugs required. One for the subwoofer, one for the bar here. Let's open this up. So we've got the buttons on the top here. Buttons on the top, power, sound, Bluetooth. Of course, the subwoofer is Bluetooth, so we don't have annoying wires. One thing I like about this system is no annoying wires going from your sound up front to your subwoofer, because it's Bluetooth. And with it being Bluetooth, we should be able to hook up our cell phone to be able to play music from here, mind you. We already have a huge um, 5.1 system in the other room. We actually only have to connect the subwoofer and two speakers because these are tall tower speakers. Really great stuff. So we'll be playing music when we want to kind of party, adult party from the other room. You can always read your instruction booklet if that makes you happy. That's very much Marie style. I don't read instructions generally. Play it by ear and take it as it comes. Oh, have to go. There you go. The gloves are actually hidden underneath the styrofoam. We've got the remote and the wires, and the rest of the setup is going to be really, you could say, child's play because everything is going to be coordinated according to shape. Now they're giving us HDMI wiring for the sound, so I'm giving my other sound system to my parents, and uh, well, I'll send them off with this. HDMI cabling. Now, if you do have a cable tie with your kit, do make sure that when you cut it, be really careful. Don't take out an exacto. You could end up cutting the wires and they won't take it back. Mind you, Costco is pretty good at taking stuff back, but they shouldn't take it back if you cut your own wires. So real simple, circle, plug in the back of the machine with a circle. You'll want to run your wires. Well, because it's up top, we don't have to run them through our system here. 
nice, easy setup. You just plug in everything that matches up. Well, power for the top bar. You've got your little two circle here. So your double circle is just gonna, I've hidden it quite well off into the side here, but right off the side. Plug and play, real easy. So don't call, don't be scared to buy a sound system. You definitely don't call someone to come install this for you. That would be a waste of the money. We'll put the little Wii sensor up top there. Little peekaboo here. I do have my power bar back here. In case the power goes out. And we have the optic already connected to the TV, so this step will actually be pretty quick. Already have the optic to the sound bar. You just have to plug that in. HDMI would have been easy to plug in as well. But I do like the optic connection. with the folk, clean it all up, and it still runs great. My parents aren't going to be blasting music. So you've got the double here that just connects, double circle, plug, real easy. Plug and play, and let's listen to this. In just a moment. Now the pulp is actually pretty good at shaking. Come back and focus here. The pulp is actually pretty good at shaking the room. They put the subwoofer on the bottom of the machine, so it was great at shaking the floor. So you felt the vibration on the floor. Uh, the Sony system. We'll go check it out. The speaker is actually on outside of the machine. So it's gonna be coming actually towards us. And that's gonna offer, you've got you know, the speaker up top and you've got some air being pushed out of the cone there. So we're gonna get a lot more bass for movie night. Sure, the dogs will appreciate that. Probably not so much. Winston tends to bark when he hears loud noises in videos. So, yay to that. Right, so we needed the most important step, which was get the wife involved. She went through the instructions. Turns out it needs optic as well as the HDMI, or just the HDMI, but it sounds great. So, we plugged in. If you want to run the optic, you have to have the HDMI anyways, or just run HDMI. But the subwoofer is fantastic and the sound, well, we're happy. We're going to have a great movie night. Hopefully this encourages you to get a sound system for your TV because it makes a huge difference, folks. I'm Johnny from JCCR's Adventures. You can also catch our other channel at Johnny's Car Care and Reviews if you're into car stuff instead of just, well, all sorts of adventure stuff. Take care, everyone. Wish you all more cars and more power, more sound systems in this case. Have a great weekend.